Hello all, welcome to etltestingtutorial.com. In this video, we are going to learn more ETL concepts. Let's begin with it. And the very first concept which we are going to learn today is normalization. Normalization is a core database concept, and uh, as we are dealing with databases in ETL also, so that is extensively used and must know concept. Now, what is a uh, normalization? <clears throat> Forget about the technical thing. Let's assume when I had the data, or you must be using any of the database you have, must be have used uh, Oracle, SQL Server, any any database. So if you see that there are tables, there are columns, and the uh, information, employee information, it is stored in one table. Department is uh, information is stored in second one, and so on, and so easily uh, it is organized into tables and columns and it is so easily accessible and readable right so just think about it think about it that how one knew that that's how you had to keep that information into database uh, uh, one has data when, let's say we have student data so I have student details, name, uh, subjects, percentage, class teacher, attendance information and so many things and that too for one student, if for whole school I'll have a lot of information that I want to keep it in one place and keep in that way so that it is accessible and readable. I can just go and you know check the information out of it, get the information out of it. That is called organizing the data. How would I organize that data? So keeping that thing, uh, keep you, keeping in the database would solve my purpose. Then how I would store that into database? How would I know that this much table I have to make? How would I know I have to make a student table, attendance table, subject table? How would I know that? And how which all columns should be there? And how the value in the column I'll, I'll will store? So this is all about organizing the thing, organizing the data into database so that I can get the relevant information out of it. So in the same process, the concept comes to normalization. Normalization is nothing but is a concept which will tell you that's how you should organize your data into your database. So organizing of the database in database achieved using normal forms. See the whole process, the concept is called normalization, the organization of database, you know, data into database. And under that normalization, we have some rules. When they said, okay, the few organize the data, then it is normalization. Do the normalization. If I am saying do the normalization, it means I am saying organize the data. Okay. And just, you know, just like that I cannot organize the data for that they have made some rules also under that okay just follow these three four rules and uh, do what uh, we are saying to you do uh, what uh, these normal forms rules are saying and your data will be organized follow these simple rules so those rules are called normal forms uh, there they are normal forms like first normal form second nf three nf nf normal form so first nf two nf three nf pcnf these are the rules if you follow your data will be organized and that would be called as normalized data base or data now what are these normal forms we'll understand so uh, i had those student details scattered one now i have to uh, store that into database and how would i store that how many tables i'll have how many columns i'll have what all details i'll have in that columns that would be achieved through normalization process and that would be achieved under normalization that i have to follow certain normal forms what are now what normal forms one by one will understand the first normal form see this all rule has to be followed if every rule has been followed then only your data would be normalized then only your data uh, would be organized properly so first normal form says no two rows should repeat each column should have single value it means if i have this table okay in the table in the uh, whatever column you want to make you can make and put the information right so i have kept it like that okay so so no two rows uh, should repeat now means uh, the whole row these values should not be repeated 
I should not have one more row which has Adam 1, not 2, 18, Mumbai and Max. And also each column, uh, that would be a duplicate data, right? So the first normal form is saying that you should not have duplicate data. The complete row duplicate should not be uh, the case. And each column should have single value. Like this, I have kept this uh, mass and science, mass comma science in the uh, subject column should not be the case. It should be like this. Rick, uh, it had the subject as math also and, and make another row and it has science also. See, it is not a complete row duplicate here and also uh, a single column doesn't have multiple values. This is the first normal form. This is the first rule which you have to follow. This has to be there to achieve the normalization. Not complete yet, but first rule, first thing which you have to make sure while storing your data into your database, while organizing it, and you have to make sure that there's no duplicates, no complete row duplicates, and each column just have one discrete value. Now, first uh, normal form says this. Now, second normal form. It says all columns not part of primary key should be dependent on all column of primary key. It says, and also, in addition, all the uh, data which uh, you are applying to the second normal form must uh, has to be in first normal form first. I mean, okay, you have data first, you have applied first normal form, that is done. Now, since all columns which are not a primary key, primary key means you all know the we have been taught in other videos also. Primary key is the the uh, the column which is unique and which cannot be null, which uh, uniquely identifies a row. That is a primary key. So, which the columns which are not the part of primary keys. A primary key can be uh, built based on uh, two, three more columns also. One column can define this as a primary key, or you can have, you can concatenate those columns. Two columns also make primary key. Three columns also make one primary key. So, if that is the case, then which all columns which are not of the primary key, it means if the A column. A plus B plus C column is a primary key, then D, E, F columns, which are not the part of primary key, should be dependent on all columns of primary key. Like, for example, I have this data now that this is already in one first normal form. I have applied that rule, no whole row duplicate, and each column should have one value. After that, this row number, this row number is a primary key. Then name and age is in one table because that name and uh, the person's name and age would be dependent on the row number on the name and the things address or subject is not uh, dependent on the age or the uh, <clears throat> name so that has to be in different table altogether it means in this column in this table the age and name are both depend, uh, are depending on the roll number. Okay, In this, subject is depending on the roll number. Subject was not depending on the name here in this table. So, I have kept it separate. The thing is that why I am going for primary key first of all? Because that uniquely identifies the row. And if that column, if there are some other different value like address or subject or any other like uh, uh, class teacher so such information which is not directly depending on all your primary key column so separate it keep it separate everything which in your in which is there in your one table all other columns should be directly dependent on them on the primary key so that is a second normal form don't make it you're not going to uh, nobody is going to ask you to you know check whether your data is in second normal form or first normal form or third normal form that would be already be normalized it's just good to know a concept that that okay they are in primary key and that's how the data is being organized and normalized and that's how it is normalized so second normal form says the columns which are not dependent on the primary key has to be in the separate table so or all the columns which are there in the one single table has to be dependent on your primary key. Now comes the third normal form. Data should be in second NF. Okay, every uh, normal form we will say that first 
follow first thermal form then come then come to second if you are coming to third then it has to be first and second both satisfy both then only you can you know make further changes in that then only it makes sense so third normal form says data should be second nf and every non prime column must, should be dependent on prime column same way uh, if every prime column see here i have name roll number street city and zip okay this zip code does it uh, depend on the roll number directly does it roll number says anything about the zip code no does it no so this is not directly dependent on the roll number at all so these are city and zip and state these are the columns which are interdependent zip is dependent on the state and uh, city or city and zip, uh, state is dependent on the zip so keep it separate keep uh, um, make a you know new table all together so that's what they were saying that keep the uh, uh, data different which are dependent on your prime attribute and if it is not then keep it separately into another one and keep the primary key there also same thing so that's all about normalization is just the organization of your data achieving through uh, following through certain normal form which are for second third boy and core also there and but uh, if you have understood the core concept why you're going for that and that's how you know you should keep it that well it should be discrete and there should not be duplicate and one primary key should be other column should be dependent on primary key then that's enough for you now uh, this is all about uh, normalization we'll go for denormalization actually denormalization is the uh, most important concept which is being in uh, used in etl but i had to tell you the normalization so that you can understand the denormalization now normalization you have uh, understood now that okay i had the data i had to organize it and, and that has to be discrete value has to be discrete no duplicates and keep separate separate table for uh, whatever columns uh, which are not uh, relating to your prime columns in one table if i do the whole you know opposite of it then it would be denormalization i don't want to go for multiple tables i want to keep everything all the columns every data into one single table and i i'll have duplicates also and i, I can i can have multiple uh, values in one column also so that is called denormalization if i am keeping every information most of the information trying to keep into one single table and i am not uh, Uh, dividing them and i'm not um, splitting them to be more readable to be more accessible and i don't want to join multiple tables then i'll go for denormalization that is all about denormalization so it will be to uh, it will be faster performance adding the relevant data also in database because see the more the table you'll have then you'll have to join these table and then you have to get data so database will take time to uh, Uh, give you the results but if you are going denormalization all the information you directly have in one table so it would be very faster you know you can just directly select those column from one table so obviously that would be faster and will understand more in depth why it is uh, being used in etl and why where it exactly it is required just uh, right now you just must understand what is the concept why uh, what is uh, being told here 